Hola, Botard. Carl Munson here with the Good Morning Portugal podcast. And as promised for this episode, where are we? 35, 36, 37, 38. We are looking at paying with plastic in Portugal. Nice alliteration there. And principally, the two cards that I've used, Revolut, over the last year or more, and just recently a newcomer to the scene, Wirex. Uh, and uh, this may put a lot of people off, but it also might be of some interest to others. Um, the uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency capability of both cars, which I think is extremely exciting. For other people, it's very upsetting. Um, your vocab today, let's get that out of the way. I don't know how well you were able to make that out. And a ter I've had a terrible bombshell. I've been told that uh, Google Translate for Portuguese is Brazilian Portuguese. So please forgive me for all the mispronunciations I might have supplied. But at least I think it puts you on the right track. Card was cartão. Uh, invoice is fatura, or like a receipt, and code, as in PIN code, is código. Let's say that again. Cartão, fatura, código. Cartão, fatura, código. So card, invoice, and code, as in PIN code, for the cards I'm going to tell you about. Now, Revolut. Revolut really are an alternative to your bank. Now, it's always a bit touchy, isn't it, and a bit um, worrisome to putting your hard-earned wonga in a new place, wondering if you'll ever see it again. Um, I can say to you, and, and let me just preface this whole podcast with this not being financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. You shouldn't listen to me except for information and entertainment purposes. This is not a recommendation of any kind, okay? Um, although... <laughs> In many ways, if you want to get involved um, with e either card, I do have referral links for both, which I think will benefit us both. But this is not financial advice, let me say that. Um, it's just uh, alternatives that I'm presenting you with, okay? So Revolut want to revolutionise, I guess it's the clue is in the name, both business and personal banking. It's digital banking, you're not going to find a Revolut uh, office, and it's pretty difficult, I think, to speak to anybody, as you'll see, whenever they announce anything on Facebook, they get flamed up with a load of uh, angry customers who aren't getting responses. But let me just tell you a bit more about the basics. Um, I mean, what, what bank doesn't give you aggro? Um, and this is about how if you've got an English bank account, which is, you know, my case, um, this is how you then transfer money into a digital bank account, either Revolut or Wirex, and then you can use it uh, on the continent, as it were. Now, Revolut's standard account is free, and you get a free uh, card, uh, you get a free UK current account is what they call it. You get a free Euro IBAN account so you can make transfers to European bank accounts. You can spend in over 150 currencies at the interbank exchange rate and there's no fee exchange in 24 fiat currencies up to £5,000 or euros per month and there's no fee to, on ATM withdrawals up to £200 per month. If you go for their Premium at seven ninety nine euros or thirteen ninety nine euros, which is their metal card. Yes, actually, literally a metal card. You get all sorts of extra benefits, which with the latter two, you're able to exchange your money in five cryptocurrencies as well. So effectively, you can do a bit of trading uh, of cryptocurrencies across your other currencies that are on your account. For me, I use pounds and euros, and I have cards that I can spend pounds and euros on but i can also exchange those amounts into cryptocurrencies uh where are we yes we've still got uh, a minute to go these are five minute podcasts on the good morning portugal uh podcast um so that's a bit about revolut if you if you want to pm me private message me about any of these i'm very happy to tell you more about my experience okay um if you if there's a specific thing you want to talk about beyond the um the podcast information here Revolut has been fantastic in my view. Um, occasionally the um, MasterCard, I think both MasterCard and Visa systems crash and that's, these systems are premised upon them and there's not much they can do about it. But I think they would like to revolutionise banking and I would have thought the banking industry is very worried about them. The newcomer to the scene is the Wirex uh, card. I did have one of these and I had trouble in the first instance with their um, cards. I don't think they could get approval in the UK or with the, with the banking system. They are now clear of that and you can get cards in plastic for GBP, pounds, euros and dollars and also cryptocurrencies, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ripple and you can use your card, you load it up in euros and then you can use it anywhere they take euros. Uh, that's it for now, if you want to know more do get in touch or leave a question in the comments. Take care, bye for now, Botard, até breve.